the Hugs Vape Ringlord RDA. Let's have a look. Hey guys, Vimdick here, back with another review. Today we are looking at this. This is the Hugs Vape Ringlord RDA 27mm single coil RDA from Hugs Vape. Glass top caps, very, very unique airflow, very unique deck. Very, very interesting indeed. Because it's so interesting and because it's so unique, I want to go straight down low so you can get a really good look at this and then you'll know what we're talking about when we're chatting up top. So let's go down low. Okay, guys, here we are down low with the Hugs Vape Ring Lord RDA. Quite often these days with down low sections, I kind of fly through it. Um, with this one, I'm going to take my time. I'm going to show you the full Monty. Um, and at the end of the video, let me know in the comments whether whether you, uh, you prefer seeing the whole shebang or you like the way I condense it. Um, but for this one, it's so unique, so different. Um, I, I want to just walk you through the, the whole thing. So we've got the Hugs Vape Ring Lord RDA. This is the packaging. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty fancy, pretty cool. Good job, um, Hugs Vape on the packaging. What I would advise, um, Hugs Vape, if you're watching, um, make a little cut out here on your packaging. It makes it a lot easier to get the boxes on and off. Um, a lot of companies have done that now. Um, I, I do highly recommend doing that. Um, so we get inside and we see we have the RDA with a glass section here a glass cap section here and then we have the exact same thing again a spare one obviously it is glass so it's more susceptible to breakages and um, so they give you a, a second one just in case i would have loved for one of these two to be metal stainless steel whatever you know uh, just a traditional so you've got the glass option and the traditional that i thought i think that would have been excellent the other thing to bear in mind, straight off the bat, I'm going to tell you straight away, this is a 27mm wide RDA, a uh, very unique width, uh, but it's very big, um, and we'll we'll get there when we get there. But uh, do constantly bear that in mind, is this um, at the size of RDA you are looking for? So we delve deeper into the box, and we find an Allen key, O-rings, a squonk pin, and all that good stuff. No spare coils, no cotton. Uh, Hugs Vape, if you are watching, a lot of companies now are providing cotton and coils. Um, I don't know if that's if what people like or not, but uh, I know a lot of people are doing it, but there you go. Uh, so there we go. So that's what you get in the box. That's what you get in the box. Like I say, my main thing about the packaging is I would love to see, I would love to see, um, well, lots of things actually, so <laughs> we'll come back to that. But the main thing is I would like to see a metal top cap as well as a glass one rather than two glass ones but that's just my opinion that's just my opinion so this is it this is the rda so underneath we've got ring lord hugs vape all that good stuff this is the gun metal version so the actual deck here you can see is gun metal there's a stainless steel deck section as well uh, those are your two color options but like i say it could have been a million color options if they'd have gone with a, an additional tank section uh, but there we go, there we go, that's where we're at. Obviously this pin can be screwed and replaced with the squonk one. No problem at all, the squonk just goes straight up the middle. Nothing um, crazy about the way it squonks. Obviously because it is a completely solid glass thing, no drip tips are required here. You can't put your own drip tips in. Uh, it's just completely built into the glass, so bear that in mind as well. Let's put it on a mod so I can get this off. One thing I would say at this point is be very, very careful um, with the very first time you uh, you open you take the cap off this RDA simply because it's glass and the o-rings aren't juicy um, it'll come off nice and easy but just be steady just the first time wiggles are good all like that you just don't want to cause any problems until you start getting these o-rings all juicy um, just be safe just be careful you don't want to break one before you've even had a go on it you know so so there we go that is a thing quick look at the glass section as you can see it is what it is 27 mil wide quite thick glass which is a good thing you've got your airflow holes obviously they are adjustable you can turn them like that to adjust your airflow it's not a lot of adjustment available but uh, there's some there's some uh, and we'll go through the weight vapes up top of course um, as you can see the way it kind of sits has left like a line on the glass that is not an issue really because when it's sat on the mod you don't see that sat on the 
uh, the deck I should say you don't see that but that's that okay next thing okay so this is the deck what on earth is going on here okay so what's going on here is air is coming in through this hole and it's going into the ring lord the rings of the ring lord and then it's coming out from underneath and I can show you that much easier because these are actually push fit so it's actually coming out through them so it's going up like that and then out of these holes um, they've got loads of diagrams on their website about what the air is doing I'm always very skeptical about those things for me what it, the air will be doing is it'll be going in round and pretty much straight up so out of there and straight up uh, and we'll get to how it vapes when we get to how it vapes now these are push fit pull on and off simply because well mainly because um, you need to take them off to build on it <laughs> you need to take them off to build on it um, so there we go it's pretty clever you know it's not like it's not like we're talking about build posts there it doesn't really matter that they're only held by o-rings that's no problem at all if they were posts obviously then that would be w worrisome but they're not so it's all good you can see what we've got going on now more clearly um, and all we need to do now is mount a coil in this and wick it up so what all you do basically if I grab a coil all you're doing is cut pre-cutting your leads to avoid any hassle and placing your build like that placing your build like that and putting your cotton through and uh, and just you're just tightening these screws basically like that so that is what we're gonna do now Alright guys, we've got it built now. As you can see, getting the actual coil in isn't super easy. Um, <laughs> you've got to pre-trim your leads and then it's quite fiddly getting the, them just right and getting one underneath and the other one underneath and keeping it straight while you're tying them down. Um, it's not the super, super, super easiest coil mount in RDA. It's not crazy tricky. It's much trickier on camera. Might have looked a bit fiddly on video, but um, in real life it's not too bad, but it is a little bit tricky. Um, as you can see also as well, I've gone with a lot of cotton, quite a lot of cotton in the ends here. Um, you know, in essence, once we've got these bunged back up again, and the fact that the air's at the top down rather than upwards, it's going to be a fairly leak-proof dripper. So I'm not worried about too much cotton, too much juice. Might as well get plenty in there. It's a 27mm RDA after all. So that's the build. Nice little, uh, you know, clapped and jobby, straight across taking up a nice amount of space uh, and all we need to do now is put our posts on and put the cap back on push fit doesn't seem to matter which way around I don't think but they just sit in there like there like that and the uh, the air is going to come right through and we're going to see how this vapes now so um, let's put the top of the cap on, let's get a bit of juice actually. Okay, so let's get the top cap on and uh, stick it on a mod. So yeah, that's how it looks in the artery, I'll show you properly up top, but that's the ring lord uh, down low, let's go up top. 
Okay, guys, that was the Ring Lord down low. Really interesting RDA. You've got to say, beyond anything else, uh, it's very unique. It's very, very unique. Possibly even innovative. I don't know. It's very certainly very, very unique. Um, in terms of the practicalities of this RDA, I do think they've missed a couple of tricks. I think that, uh, firstly, instead of having two glass top caps, I would have loved to have a traditional top cap. A traditional metal top cap with goon tip fit in so I could put my own drip tip in here. All metal and lovely. The glass thing, I totally get why they did the glass thing because they want people to see inside how unique this is, these crazy interesting posts. And I totally get why they added one glass cap but I would have liked to seen a normal cap as the second additional cap. I would also have liked to have seen Different posts, different posts. You've got changeable posts. You can pull them out, you can push them in. What an opportunity to have different styles of post. Maybe a fully wide open one, maybe a really tight one for a really tight draw. Um, they could have had additional posts with this, they could have had additional top caps rather than just glass. You know, remember if you drop this, it's going to smash. It's going to smash. Um, the, you do get a spare, so that's pretty good. And you can get them directly off Hugs Vape website for about $5. So that's pretty good as well. It's, you're not the end of the world if you do drop it, but do bear that in mind. So I think they missed a little trick there. Now, the other thing I would say as well is the size of this RDA. Do not forget for a second, this is a 27mm wide RDA, and it's a single coil 27mm wide RDA. I mean, that's uh, that's very big RDA to have single coil. Again, I get why it's so big. It's because of these crazy posts. Uh, they needed all this room. I would love to see, I think there's a lot of potential in this style of deck, this design, this airflow design. I think there's a lot of potential in here, but I think one of the things they need to work on is getting that ring down. They've got to get that ring size down so that they can get a smaller deck, more condensed, better flavour. Because the one thing about this RDA, the flavour isn't tremendous. The flavour is not tremendous. Not terrible vapor production or anything like that. I'm at 50 watts with a 0.3 coil. So, you know, it's not, not bad vapor production, but I think the flavor is slightly lacking because it is such a big open deck. And because it's quite turbulent, quite indirect airflow, really. Um, you know, it's got to go all the way up, it's got to go all the way around, and then it's shooting down, not up into your mouth. So it's quite indirect. Um, so the flavour isn't superb on this, but I think it, I think it could be a lot better. Um, I definitely think there's scope for options here. There are some advantages to this. Don't forget, this is virtually leak proof. This is virtually leak proof because because the airflow holes are so high up and facing downward. It's very, very hard to make this leak. It's a virtually leak-proof RDA. So that's a big advantage. And again, because the posts are interchangeable, you can have different ones. So that's that's a potential advantage as well. So I think there's some definite potential in this RDA, in this style of airflow. But the issues for me are the fact that it's indirect and the deck is too big. And I think that's causing some loss of flavour. The other slight thing you get with this, this might be a good thing for some people, uh, but not really for me, because it's indirect, you're getting a little bit of extra throw tip. Now, as you know, or maybe you don't know, if in a traditional RTA, the distance that you put your coil from the airflow, this is great for screenshots, everyone, if you want to get your screenshot button ready, um, the, the distance you are from your airflow affects the throat hit. You know, the distance between where the air goes in and when it hits your coil is what creates throat hit. And this has that. This has additional throat hit by the fact that the air is pushing down and having to come all the way back up. So you do get a bit more throat hit. That might be a good thing for some people, but for me, not so much these days. Um, so that is a thing. Final slight sort of quirky aspect on this, when you drip in into it, when you drip into it, um, it uh, hits the bar, it hits the bar and goes around crazy places. I don't know how well you can see that on camera, but the juice is actually all collected on the side of the post there because it's hitting that bridge and going around the bridge rather than down onto where you want it to go. Um, it gets there eventually, it's fine, but it's just a bit ropey, it's a bit crazy. Um, so it's a bit of a, a funky one to drip on. Don't forget, it does come with a squonk pin and you can squonk with this and it squonks very, very well indeed. It's completely traditional squonk hole right in the bottom of the deck. Um, so there we go. So it does squonk all right, um, but uh, yeah. 
So, in terms of the airflow, as you can see, it's one little hole here, one little hole here. It's quite a restrictive draw, again, partly because of the turbulence. Uh, it's not a super airy RDA, so if you like big airy RDAs, it might not be for you. It's actually quite a restricted vape. So there we go. Um, you can turn it down. It's slightly adjustable, but it's not a massively adjustable airflow. Uh, yeah, it's quite restricted. It's quite a restricted airflow. I've got to point that out. Overall, though, like I say, I think there is a lot of potential for this RDA. A lot of potential. A lot of potential. I think there's definitely things they can do with these posts. I definitely think there is. they can reduce the size and therefore reduce the deck. Um, I would like to see them continue with this. If you're going to continue with it, please do a normal cap, not just a glass one. I'm not a big fan of glass caps. The second you vape on it, it all goes cloudy and misty anyway. Um, but um, yeah, I think there's definite potential with this. It's very unique, very interesting airflow. Definitely potential. Uh, I'd love to see them take it forwards. Um, if you're super curious, if you just like a play, you know, it's it's a very affordable, it's very well made by Hugs Vape. So go out and grab one if you just want to play and you're quite interested by it. Um, but for me, the flavour could be better if they make some tweaks. It'd be very interesting to see a V2 of this or a 24mm version of this. Super, super interested to see one of those. Overall, very interesting, very unique. I quite like it. Um, the throat hit's quite intense compared to your traditional RDA these days. Uh, the flavour could be better if it was a more reduced chamber. There we go. There we have it. The Ringlord RDA. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like and subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you on the next review. Cheers.